Traditionally, the modeling of human faces has focused on the process of physical simulation or data capture. Simulated models generate synthetic face poses using complex physically based models. These simulations are entirely procedural and therefore have a continuous level of facial variability. However, they generally lack intuitive control, relying on many numerical parameters with no real-world context, and sometimes exhibit unnatural posing due to inadequate or unstable physical models. Alternatively, face models that are driven purely by data generated by range scans or other methods result in visually pleasing and realistic models, but often rely totally on the specific set of captured poses. If a desired face does not exist in the dataset, a new face must be captured, which is a cumbersome and often expensive process. To address the issues with these two approaches, we have developed a hybrid model of face pose generation that takes a sparse set of captured real-world face data that spans variations in emotion, type, and visim, and then analyzes this variation and is able to generate any combination of these attributes. Our system allows an artist or animator to generate new, realistic faces that never existed in the original dataset, without requiring time-consuming recapture or 3D modeling. The generation of each new face pose is linked to a set of continuously variable controls based on those original emotion, type, and visiting attributes. These controls provide a simple way for a user to harness a vast range of facial transformation. Our method requires that all sets of face data to be analyzed are in full correspondence. The process of taking multiple 3D matches and generating a per-vertex correspondence is covered in previous related research. Once correspondence is achieved, our method then proceeds in three primary steps user-driven data tagging of existing data, offline principal component analysis of face geometry for each axis of variation, and real-time attribute-driven generation of new faces. During the process of tagging, a user visually analyzes all the available face data and matches each individual face model to a set of attributes. The user is presented with three sets of variation in the face models and must rate each of these faces according to the attributes appropriate to that space of variation. Because we have three sets of data, each displaying separate variation in face type, expression, and visi, we have three sets of tag controls for the user to manipulate. Each attribute is a value from 0 to 1 and represents the strength of a particular attribute in a given face model. Face type attributes can be arbitrary and can describe both local and global facial features. Our face type attributes include femininity, nose sharpness, eye size, chin definition, and weight. Our expression attributes are more consistent and include sadness, joy, fear, disgust, and surprise. Finally, our Visim attributes cover a subset of the existing known human Visim range. The next step of our algorithm is the analysis phase. Here, the system takes our three datasets and analyzes them separately for later integration in the generation phase. For any single set of face data, we generate an average reference face and then represent every other face in the dataset as a set of offset vectors one for each vertex from the geometry of that same average model. Next, we perform principal component analysis on all of these offset vectors and determine the axis of variation for a particular dataset. As a result of this analysis, the unique shape of each face is then represented as the average face altered by a linear combination of each of these common offset eigenvectors multiplied by a unique weight vector for all vertices. These eigenvectors and their weights are abstract statistical entities that represent the various axes of geometric variation in a group of faces. For the useful generation of new faces, we must correlate these abstract eigenvector weights with the intuitive, human-readable attributes that we tagged in the previous step of our algorithm. In order to do this, we form two matrices. The first, W, is a set of all eigenvector weights for all faces. The other, matrix A, is a set of all attribute tags for the same set of faces. Next, we represent the relationship between those two matrices as a transformation matrix. We solve for this unknown element by multiplying the weight matrix with the pseudo-inverse of the attribute matrix. We perform this analysis step three times, on face types, expressions, and visims separately, and generate three transformation matrices. The final step of our algorithm is the generation of new faces. Given any desired face attributes, we can now, with a simple matrix multiply, generate a new set of eigenvector offset weights. This step is performed three times using three sets of attributes, in order to generate three new sets of weights for face type, expression, and visi morphing. These weights are then combined with the original computed eigenvectors and used to offset the vertices in the average face model. In this example, we generate new faces that exhibit a combination of emotions that was never present in the original dataset. This face combines the expression of joy and surprise. 
Notice that our model captures the nuances and small movements of the entire face that together make up the full expression of emotion. New face types can also be generated. Here, we start with the average face and enhance the femininity. We then lower the chin definition, eye size, and nose sharpness. Finally, our system allows the user to generate visine poses for any generated face. This type of control could be used to provide realistic facial movement to accompany audio tracks using existing phoneme detection techniques. With our method, users are also free to explore all attribute combinations simultaneously and explore the rich space of facial variation. Here, we generate a masculine face that exhibits fear and disgust. While our model can generate realistic faces from sparse data sets, there is a danger of generating unrealistic faces or models with unwanted artifacts. In some cases, the application of certain attributes simultaneously results in geometry that intersects or stretches in a way that is physically incorrect for a human face. Our methods have successfully analyzed a detailed set of realistic face data that spans variation in visine, type, and expression, and learned a model of total facial transformation that binds abstract geometric operations to intuitive human-readable attributes. With this model, an artist can have intuitive control over the creation of completely new faces that are based on a rich foundation of real-world information.